game of the afternoon session here at the International Darts Open from the Saxon Arena in Riso. And it's Gerwin Price, a man who has claimed two PDC titles this year, his first two PDC titles, and a man who continues to make progress in the professional ranks. The Welshman, the Iceman, in action for the first time this weekend as one of the seeded players, number 11 seed, looking to book his place in the last 16, but has to get past Dragatin Horvat, the man originally from Croatia, naturalised German, came through the host nation qualifiers last night. Winner of this one will face the diamond Ian White, the number six seed who kicked off this afternoon's proceedings with a 6-2 victory over Jim Walker. Dan Dawson to talk you through this one alongside me, Paul Nicholson. Yeah, we really enjoyed last night with Dragatin Horvat and Ricky Evans. It brought everything and more, and we found out just how good Dragatin Horvat actually is. So Gezi here... Got his hands full. Well, he has, because Dragatin averaged nearly 95, hitting around about one in three darts at double, had three maximums in there. It was a solid display, and we've already seen today that that kind of performance you, could be gentlemen. enough to win. First leg is going to throw first. Game on. Well, first things first, we, we can't keep calling him Dragatin. We've got to shorten that somehow. Draggy. Draggy. <laughs> Can okay, we go in with Draggy? I may stick with four bats. Well, if anybody's got any ideas, tweet at Dan Dodds Dawson or at the Asset 180 and tell us what you think. 99. Doesn't hang about, Horvat. Saw that last night. Gets to the hockey pretty quickly, chucks his darts away. If anything, Gerwin Price is probably a little bit more deliberate than his opponent. 80. I think that was one of the reasons why last night's game with Ricky Evans was so entertaining because Ricky, as we know, is ridiculously quick. But Horvath doesn't hang 60. around like you say it. And quick players with quick players generally, it's good to watch. Yeah, it certainly was. I mean, Ricky Evans started pretty atrociously in that game, but he really got going later on. As going Price fires in his first maximum of the weekend here in Risa. Yeah, really came back at Horvath, did Ricky Evans, but he'd just given himself too much to do in the early part of the game. Ended up losing 6-4. Six. You notice that Horvath's got the Bristol finger going on. Uh -huh, a yeah. little raised pinky. Gezi is really going to fancy it this weekend. 99. I know Adrian Lewis has had a couple of things to say about him winning events with people missing. <laughs> well, there are some people missing this weekend, but Gezi doesn't 97. care about that. Go he just wants to beat us in front of him. He's got 84 after 12, which is handy. Loves double 12. Double 12 again. 72. Yeah, I gave him the hex there. He will come back for double six, though. Horvath back on 185. Yeah, it was suggested that Gerwin Price's two PDC Pro Tour victories were 59. only while the big boys Here were elsewhere. Well. But still got to win them. And win them he did. And when you look at his trajectory, his career trajectory, as he looks at double six now, and he's got the other side of that first no start. And two on the wrong side Losing of it. Require and Horvath's got a sniff here. 419 to give him a go at the ball. Three doesn't help. Doesn't help at all. I was going to say, he'd stick down there. He's still got 66 left. 65. Gary really doesn't 12. hang about. Even the cameraman couldn't keep up with him. Still an open bed for Gezi. Game and he hits it this time. Going prime. As if to say, well, Second leg is finally. To throw first. Game on. He's won the up. Yeah, as I was saying, you look at his career trajectory. So he, he won his tour card 100. in 2014. Next year made it into the top 64. This year, he's gone into the top 32. He's managed to qualify for the match play. Won his first, well, qualify the match play first last two years. And the finals last year. Won his first couple of titles. I mean, as a guy who was moving from one professional sport to a completely different one, where you wouldn't have 60. thought. I mean, everybody's asked him repeated times. You know, you used to play rugby. Are there any similarities? Is there anything for the rugby game that you can bring over to this? And he, he while we're all coming up with theories about mindset and things like this. 54. Gone, no, they're completely different. There is absolutely nothing I take from the rugby pitch that helps me out there, or nothing he consciously takes. As Horvat fills it up for a 180. Well, my take on the matter is maybe he's just good at rugby and good at darts. Well, I think that's probably as likely as anything. But in terms of the nearly three years he's had on the Dragutin PDC Tour, it couldn't have gone much better for him, really, realistically speaking. I know he'd love to have won the world the last two years, but he's making progress. He's making very, very good progress. Yeah, nobody wins the world in their debut year. It's just one of those things that 
very rarely happens. Keith Teller did, didn't he? 140. Yes. Yeah. I just wanted to get that in there before he tweeted me back and said, well, I did it. Uh, Della, certainly one of the greats. Well, that can't take out the 101. 86. 46 left for go in price for a 2-0 lead to get the break. Topsy wants. And Game Topsy shot, gets. And that's, uh, that's exactly, what he's, Third leg exactly what he's got to do. Exactly what he's got to do against this guy. Game it, on. It's very hot up there today. Much hotter than yesterday because mm. there is roughly 2,000 more people in here. Gezi looks comfortable in the hot, hottest atmospheres. Ragaton's a, a big old fella. 140. So you've got to be fit up there. You've got to be willing to take the hot and the tough with it. But he playing really well. 121. Guess he's getting his chances and taking them. Yeah, it's perhaps not as many as I thought we were in today, earlier on. I thought we were pretty much near capacity. We've actually got plenty of room for a few more. 100. So we've got about 2,500 in today. But tonight, we will be setting a record for a darts crowd in Germany, I understand, with something like 3,500 in. I think 100. it's been noisy this afternoon. It is going to be hectic this evening. It was very noisy with Sulevich and Mike Holtz. Mm. And a couple of games tonight that really stir the pot. We start with Van der Pass against Kyle Anderson. I cannot I mean, wait for it. Wow, what a game to start the night. Cannot wait for it. Go in Price has left 161, but Horvat's going to be handy. Very handy. What a busy two. that is. Going your Second maximum for Dragatin Horvat leaves himself a nice little two darter. The 161 is not going, and Horvat could break back here. 87. He could. Dragatin He's going to need 100. 520s. Four more. Well, he's going to leave tops. 60. But Gezi has had chances in this match, and he's taken them. So will he take the 74? Well, he's going to have to go 20 bull. Bull's ideas for 3-0. Oh, it sounded good. But it's not 40. in there. Not far away. Horvat looking to punish him and get a break back. Yeah, and there the it is. Leg. Gets it in the corner Dragutin of that Horvath. double 10. And the German crowd. Horvath is Dragutin to throw first. Game on. Getting a few whistles in here when Gerwin's throwing as well. He's going to have to just put that out of his mind. He is the last sort of German representative, is Dragatin. Following Mike Holtz's demise earlier on at the hands of Mensur Sulevich. Did push him. And he lost it 6-3 in the end. So Robert Thornton really pushed by Ronnie Hybrex. Looked for all the world like it was going 55. to a deciding leg there. The other games we've seen already today, they've been relatively comfortable. 6-2 for Ian White. 6-1 for Robbie Green, knocking out Stephen Bunting. Is this another one? 127. Switch downstairs. And Andy Bolton, 6-1 against Alan Norris. Alan Norris just not at the races today. Yeah, I think Alan 93. Norris is going to be critiquing that performance for quite a while. Well, I stayed out of his way. Yeah, he's one man you don't want to cross. But... I'm sure 140. that's just a very, very strange diff off from the office for Alan Norris. I'm sure we'll see a lot more of him this month. Oh, he's gonna... Obviously, we've got a number of European tours this month. We've got Pro Tour in Barnsley. Then. We're off to Dublin, where Norris won his first PDC title. So you never know. Sometimes 57. players have these certain venues where they're feeling good and can produce their best stuff. And he'll be hoping that Dublin turns out to be one of those venues 57 for Alan Norris Jacuzzi just a 57 for Gerwin Price and Horvat's got a very real chance here six starts from 114 may only need three 94 oh, it's like he was teasing us didn't get the job done but he will be back because he hasn't really hit the scoring button on this leg oh, that's 140 better. mild Jacuzzi pressure 20 Mr. Horvath can't hit double ten, but he Game can. The leg. And that's the second Horvath. time he's done that. The going to throw first. If in doubt, Game leave on. double ten, Horvath. 2-2. Two, two. Well, well, well. 2-0 down. And maybe these German 43. fans were concerned that the last host nation qualifier was about to be dumped out unceremoniously. But just look at the numbers there. The first nine average is a significant higher number than Gerwin prices and the overall average as well Dragutin Horvat is playing better darts than Gerwin Price at this very moment 100 
I tell you, he was happy about this performance and the fact that he won last night. That's Germany. They're getting more players playing better. 140. That will encourage the likes of Max Hopp. He needs to be pushed. You know, we haven't seen GNR to it a lot recently. Now he's struggling to qualify for these events, is she? 100. Uh, Mike Holtz, he can hold his head up after this weekend. A really good performance last night and didn't disgrace himself against Sulevic this afternoon. 140. But all that really can play. He's not been overwhelmed by the two-leg deficit at the start of this match. He really has just dug in and got on with it. 134. Good response from Gerwin Price. 124 plays 138. We mentioned Della. Oh, couldn't find the treble 18. 98. He sets it up perfectly, and Gerwin Price is being forced to take this out. Treble 18 for Bull. Not going to happen. Goes for the ball anyway. Well, do. That's one good way to leave it, but he's going to hit tens again. Game shot on the fifth <laughs> leg. Dragutin Horvath. Three on the spin for Horvath. Sixth leg is Dragutin to throw first. And that was another break of throw. All one on double ten. And Gerwin Price at 2 0 up might have Game thought, well, nice, nice little ease myself into the European tour again. This will be all right. Be back tomorrow in no time at all, looking to what make the latter stages. It is not going according to plan for the Welshman. Begs the question at the moment, who's better on double 10, James Wynn or Dragon and Horvath? Oh, he's certainly the best person here. Yeah. He really doesn't think about it. He just goes, to, goes up and hits it. He really does like it. But he's a good scorer. He's already hit two on 80. There's a 137. And if he can consolidate that break of throw there with a hold here, and he's going the right way about it, he'll open up a little bit of daylight 45. between these two. And Gerwin Price, the trebles are just drying up. Horvat is on a roll. Yeah, make no mistake. Dragon and Horvat has got Gerwin Price on the ropes here in the middle part of this game. If he can maintain this standard, Gerwin Price is going to have to find some legs. 85. Like he did against Dragutin Simon Whitlock in Dusseldorf, where he went off like a firework. Both oh. double eight. 112. Okay. I was so thinking I didn't get that wrong. No, you were right. Yeah. He did want double eight. He's gone for double four. Maybe. 60. Maybe he Dragutin wanted to leave a double next 12. to double ten. Well, <laughs> it's a theory. Yeah, the <laughs> Dragutin Horvath. It matter. He's taking it out Seven to 13 data. Game on. And Dragutin Horvath has just rattled off four legs in a row. And the German crowd, I think they think this is happening. 108. Going. Price buys in a 1080. He needs it as well. This is happening all right. 135. Last year, Max Hopp made the last 16 of this tournament here in Risa. It was the first time, I believe, that a host nation qualifier in Germany had made it to the final day of action. Dragutin Horvat may be about to emulate Max Hopp's achievement by booking his place in the last 16. Look at that average. It is 99 for Dragutin Horvat. So what we're seeing right now is that his performance yesterday was below par <laughs> because he can play better than that. And he's proved it today already. Fair play to Gerwin Price, though. He's got back into this leg with some sensational scoring. 41. Well, it needed to be good for Gerwin to get back in this. He's got to finish it off, though. Double top he wants. Should be a decent guide. One Ooh. score. Not much room between the dart and the top wire there, but he found it. I'll tell you what, Dragon and Horvat would be good if he could take out 207 and 3, <laughs> but unfortunately nobody can do that. 59. Going, you require 40. Now for double 10. Can't get the other guy who hit it for you. Game shot on the seventh leg. Himself. Going Price. And it is 4-3. And he leg closes the gap. Just first. stops the rot there. Game going on. Price. But Dragutin Horvat knows that two holds of throw is enough to book his place in the last 16. And he's not letting up. 140. I'm trying to figure out his way of grouping the darts together. And I'm a little bit baffled by it. They do go in and they kick to the right a bit. I just think he 93. looks at the red bit and just goes for it. He doesn't think about blocker darts or trying to bunch them together. He just thinks there's a red bit, just hit it. 
122. Yeah, they, they do kick up a bit, but it's not like it's not like some players where if it's below the wire, it's going to be really difficult. Oof. 125. You look at somebody like Terry Jenkins, whose darts do kick up a little bit, but he he seems just as happy to go over the top or underneath them. That's exactly right. That's what makes Terry Jenkins very, 87. very dangerous, and we will see him later on. But at the moment, when you're on 152 after nine, you're playing well. Look Both on 2180s. Real stat there, though. 60. The average. So you're going to require 158 versus 91. 98 overall average. He's in 50% of his doubles. This is very, very impressive from Dragutin Horvat, and he's going to leave himself. Oh, why not find another trouble 20 in it, the double six again? Okay. 92. Enough. Single 20, single 20, double 10. Ah, double top, double 10. <laughs> That's what he wants. It's been done before. Yeah, 177. Yeah, you celebrate, Gerwin. Try Dragutin and get something. 60. Try and change what's happening up there, because Dragutin Horvat is just carrying on about his business. Game and shot, that's yeah, double yeah. top. Dragutin and that's Horvath. a celebration. Nice leg. It's Gerwin to throw first. Game on. Hey, it's not often that uh, Gerwin Price is punching against someone who is bigger than him. But he is here. He has 59. reached the point of no return. Three legs in a row, Iceman, or you're going back to Wales. Look at that. That was a slightly dodgy opening leg from these two. There was a 16 darter in there, but 45. everything else has been in five visits to the board. And if Dragutin Horvat can play at this standard all the way through, well, the rest of this game and tomorrow, 46. It might be enough for something just incredible to happen. Isn't that why Roy of the Rovers was written? Mm. Roy of the Rovers, all right. This would be a sensational story if he gets through this game on its own. We had the host nation qualifiers on Thursday night. We had the European Not qualifiers yet. then as well. And of all the people here, you probably wouldn't, not many, would have picked Dragutin Horvat to be a guy booking his place 100. in the final day of action. And certainly not throwing 95-plus averages in so doing. But right now, he 96. may be about to close this out 6-3. He's effectively stolen the darts. He should get down to a finish here. Well, six darts from 2-1-6. I think that's shielding the 60, mm. which he wants to use. Oh, oh, that's the danger. That is the danger. And maybe it would have been sensible to switch because now Gerwin Price has six darts from 2-0-2. But he's got to find a treble. He does, 94. and he knows how important that dart was. You could see it. Now, what pressure will that one away be under? What can Dragatin Horvat do? Well, he can leave a lovely, yeah, lovely well, number. Where is he going to go? Is it 19s? It's 17s. 57. 40 left. 68. Horvat can win it now. He's got three darts in his hand. 78 to go. For 6-3. Well, that's 12 scored. So 66 left. He's got to go 16 ball. He has to. We'll even look at the treble. Where, where is he going? What's happening? 51. What? Going your has he miscounted? 40. Did he go 14s? Miscount heaven. Game for the John second the gives Gerwin Price, Price a shot. And he's taking it. Ted Legas Dragutin to throw wow. first. Well, look at it this way, Dragutin. Game on. You lost... Against the throw there. So this is your throw. This is your leg. For the 41. second time in the match, Dragutin Horvat has miscounted. Now, the first one didn't really matter that much. That one did. It cost him a dart for the match. Now, I know he went for the ball and he didn't hit it anyway. 96. But it's still in his head. And it may just shake his confidence. And he has to just get rid of that. And you can see he's put one in the one. He's put one in the five. And where's that 43. one? 43. He might be about to give this up on just a silly bit of maths. Well, Kerwin Price is going to think, I've been given an opportunity here. I'm going to take it. Oh, my word. That's what you call flexing your darting muscle. Gezi has the throw in the last leg. 55. Dan, that is huge in this match. Wow, it, it just... One little bit of mental arithmetic might have played an enormous part in this game. 139. Go a little Price. quieter in here as well. Oh, it certainly is. He's on an 11 data. He would have the throw in the deciding leg. 
And does Dragutin Horvat believe that his chance has gone? Because even the ton 40 doesn't Going get him down to a finish. Go in price with loads of time to get the break here. Doesn't need to go the ball route. Wow. Go in ten. price. Game How about that? The 12 data. Even if Dragutin Horvat hadn't been shaken by that miscount, first. it would have taken something very special to stop Gerwin Price winning that leg there. Indeed. I didn't think it would get here. Game on. I thought Horvat had that game by the screws and bolts. And Price is in the driving seat now. He has wrestled it from Horvat. What a good start as well. That's what he wanted. Pressure is firmly on the German. What can he deliver? Oh, my word. 140. Neck, going to the wire. Neck and neck in this deciding leg. Gerwin Price has got his nose in front, but he did a narrow, narrow lead. Dragutin over every treble. Worth its weight in gold right now. We don't want to talk about this much. We just want to watch it. That's how good it is. Just sit back and enjoy it. This is going to be a tense finish. Oh, what good turn from Gerwin Price. How many times has his last dart saved him? In fact, looking at the three dart averages, Gerwin Price, his last dart, he's got a higher average with that last dart than his first two. 100. On a number of occasions, he's managed to find the intended target with the last dart. And it's dug him out of some holes. Horvat has got down to a finish. Gerwin Price has got to apply pressure. He's found one treble. Can he find another? 96. Only the one. That last visit from Horvat was world class. Two blocker darts and managed to get a ton, which could be vital. Needs another one. And he's Whoa. done it. <laughs> if you don't hit this, Gerwin Price, Horvat might knock you out of the tournament. Has to go 18 ball this time. Hits the treble. This is the match dart. Thank you. Horvat on 64. 64. He can't afford any mistakes now. Price has already missed the dart for the match. Horvat is going to get one himself. A double 16. Game it's shot. there. Match. Horvat is driven. He knocks out Gerwin Price. And we have a German in the final day of action here in Riesa. Dragutin Horvat, who came through the host nation qualifiers. He has averaged nearly 95 again. He's played at a consistent level throughout this weekend, and he may well give Ian White a serious examination as they duke it out for a place in the quarterfinals tomorrow. Paul Nicholson, could he go even further? We're about to find out. He's got Ian White tomorrow, and this crowd are loving the fact that Dracutin Horvat has got some nuts because that took bottle it took everything he had he's shaking his head he's taking a drink of water because that was 11 legs of pure drama here at the happy bed international darts open let's get a word with the victor dragutin horvat remember that name Gratuliere, Dragutin. Einer der schönsten Momente deiner Karriere? Ja, nach meinen Kindern, ja. Deiner Karriere, ja, 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 ja. Es war, es, es war zum einen erstmal eine klasse Partie. Du warst zwischendurch beim Average von knapp 100 Punkten. Du hattest eine gute Doppelquote. Was war mit den 78 Punkten dann? Hast du dich kurz verrechnet? Ich war so nervös, ich habe mich zwei oder dreimal verrechnet, nicht nur einmal. Ist dir auch nicht aufgefallen, ne? Kannst du es auch nicht so gut. Hinten raus, aber die Nerven behalten, als du dann eine Chance hattest. Den Sack zugemacht, den Nummer 22 der Welt mal eben geschlagen. Ja, was bleibt mir alles übrig? Entweder ich oder er. Du, gratuliere dir. Der Gutin Horvath.